guys, welcome to another video. Gilbert Patino here and Manny Patino behind the camera. So we're here at Twin Parks. It's a walking trail and it's located right behind the home I wanna show you guys today. Uh, and I can't wait to show you, it's a really nice home. It's $315,000. It's a three bed, two bath, and a little bit over 1,800 square feet. Now this walking trail is really nice, it has plenty of vegetation. Uh, all the desert plants are here. You got cactus and a variety of desert plants, boulders. It's a very nice walking trail. And not only that, it has exercise machines. Uh, it also has water fountains and benches. Not to mention, it's about a mile long, so it's not too long and not too short. Let's head over there and check out the home. I can't wait to show you guys. So we're here at the home. Uh, what's nice is that you have full grown trees here, full grown plants, all desert plants. Look at this agave plant. You have this full grown one, you have a smaller one here in the front, which is uh, barely growing. It looks really nice. And then you have that ocotillo there in the back. It's also fairly big. And look at this palm tree. I mean, it's very nice, fairly big. And then uh, look at these lantanas, many. What's nice about these is you can cut them right before spring and you'll have a brand new plant during spring. And look at the Indian hawthorn plant, which we always talk about, but this is what they look like fully grown. What's nice is you can always use it as a hedge. You know, adds a lot of character. It looks really nice there. Look at the arches on the windows. Just adds a lot of character. And again, if you don't want to wait, 10 months to, to purchase a home, to build a home. You can always purchase something like this. Uh, 315,000 for a home like this. I mean, it's, it's a really good price. And you know, you can always call us. We'll point you in the right direction. There's a few homes out there that are similar in price and very nice homes. And look at this window here in the front. So this one leads right to the formal dining room. You got plenty of natural light there in, in the formal dining room. Well, let's go on inside. I want to show you a few things. Before we go on, look at this mosaic. Look at the design, the pattern it just looks amazing. And you have a nicho here, uh, here on the side and good for like vases and vases, but you have three entrances. This is your formal dining room with the chandelier. And that's opera, the window we were talking about. It's operable by the way, so that you can open it. It's got a screen and everything. Uh, by the way, you have another dining room on the other side, which would be more like a breakfast dining room. This one would be more like a formal dining room. You have also, you know, good sliding glass door. You have a really good size uh, family room with the uh, gas fireplace and then the niche on the top with the spotlight, which looks nice. So before we continue, I'm gonna show you the bedrooms first. So it's nice because it's a split floor plan. So you have the master or the primary bedroom on one side and then the other bedrooms on the other side. So really good size uh, bathroom with a skylight there. And a really good uh, pattern for the tile. It just looks amazing. It matches the rest of the home. So two bedrooms here right next to each other. A good size window. It's operable. It uh, slides up. And then what's nice is you have uh, that closet that it's, uh, it's not a sliding door. It's, it's just a normal door. So they're good size rooms. They're not small at all. The color palette on this is, is good. It's not too dark and not too light. Uh, still light enough to bring in natural light and still brighten up the rooms. But let's go look at the other bedrooms. We'll go to the backyard last because uh, I want to show you a few things that I liked about that. You got this uh, little, I guess, breakfast bar. You can put some bancos or some stools there. So it's a good size kitchen. It's, it's really good size. You got a good amount of cabinets, drawers and doors. Uh, what's nice is that you have the washer and dryer, which are included. You have the fridge, which is included. All the appliances are gonna be included. It's a really good sized kitchen. I think this is one of the things that brings more attention to me because you know a lot of people like washing dish dishes and watching TV at the same time. And uh, it's a good setup. I like the fact that you have a, a formal dining room and then a breakfast dining room right next to the kitchen with two windows, two big windows that are operable as well. So. You can always open them to let the natural air flow. Let's go into the garage. So the entrance to the garage leads right next to the kitchen. So it's a good sized garage, two car garage, and then you have uh, storage up here and then also a natural skylight. And you have a good amount of lighting too, which is also nice. So you're gonna see a few sconces in, in this home. You have the one in the front, right next to the front door, and then this one here, always adding light. The primary bedroom is fairly big. You got two big windows, operable fan, a really, really big bathroom, which is nice. So you have a jetted tub with the privacy glass and it has tile all around. That's a really nice tub. And then you, all, you have your vanity here with the, the, his and her sink with a good amount of lighting as well. And then you have the closet here on this side, which is also a good size. 
You have plenty of room, you have plenty of uh, hanging space, plenty of shelving. Well, it's nice because you have that jetted tub and you still have the walk-in shower and then the toilet room, which is also a really good size. It's not small at all. And focus on that design, it looks really nice. The way they uh, laid that design on the top of the bathtub there, it just looks really nice. I want to show you guys the backyard. I can't wait to show you because there's a few things out there that, uh, that I like. A sliding glass door first off look at the size of this patio so you got a good size patio with the gas for your grill so if you're gonna grill you can connect it directly to the gas line you don't have to be buying tanks or anything and so look at the stone here it just looks really nice the way it's laid out and then look at the pattern of the of the landscaping in the back again plenty of plants here in the back as well you have ocotillos the desert willow and still a few agaves in the back here as well. And you have a jacuzzi as well. It's really good for late nights and now you want to hang out in the backyard with your jacuzzi. I want to mention the home also has solar panels. So for $315,000, uh, it's a really good deal. You're getting a, a 1,800 square foot home in a really nice community with a walking trail behind for $315,000 with solar panels and that's a really good deal so right behind the house as we mentioned you have that walking trail again it's about a mile long and it's got a very nice landscape so when you're walking you have a lot to see again if you guys are looking to buy to sell your home or you're just looking to shop around you can always contact us and thank you for joining us for the video